Hey Chippy, have you ever wondered why humans can only communicate with each other by speaking out loud? Um, hello, what about text messaging or email? I meant when they're in the same room together. So do I. I've seen people text message when they're standing right next to each other. Okay, I think you're missing my point. You had a point? Yes, the way humans communicate. I mean, they can't speak to each other telepathically like we can. Well, maybe they're not as advanced as cats. Do you hear that, honey? Chippy and Tuck are having the age-old human evolution debate. You mean, were they descended from apes or the Garden of Eden? No! Why they haven't mastered the art of telepathic communication yet? Ah, uh, but it's so obvious, isn't it? All the stress in their daily lives prevents them from opening their third eye. You mean they have constipated brains? Uh, in a matter of speaking, yes. Well, that certainly explains why Congress is immediately able to sanction money to aid countries like Haiti in their hour of need, but somehow stonewalls on any kind of relief for its own people. I mean, is that crazy or what? That's because corporations run America, honey not Congress, and we all know big business doesn't care about the little guy, only their profits. And their bonuses, don't forget that. They certainly care about those. Maybe we could teach our owners to communicate telepathically, and then they could teach others, and so on, and so on. Are you kidding? It's hard enough to get their attention with a simple meow, let alone mind messaging. True. But it would make their lives so much easier. And by not speaking out loud so much, it probably would reduce their carbon footprints too, right? It would also reduce the need for talk shows or the morning news. I mean, can you imagine a morning without Matt Lauer or Al Roker? Yes, surprisingly I can. And it's called Utopia. Well, I wouldn't like it. Because then there wouldn't be any need for late night talk shows either, which means no one would be around to interview me when I become a big star. Oh, I'm sure Jay Leno would still be around. NBC will make sure of that. And even if he had to host the show telepathically, that gigantic chin of his makes an excellent satellite dish for long distance communications. Well, that's true. I think Chelsea Handler should host The Tonight Show. She's just the kind of sass that snooze fest needs. I agree. Except Chelsea really doesn't like cats, honey. So what? I don't like cats either. We have that in common. But you're a cat, honey. How can you not like cats? Well, I'm a diabetic too, but that doesn't mean I like diabetes. It's not the same thing. No, it's exactly the same thing, because it wasn't my choice to become a cat, and it certainly wasn't my choice to get diabetes. But I am, and I did, so I just have to make the best of it. But what would you rather be, if not a cat? How about a koala? They're cute and cuddly, and they live in Australia, which is a lot more warm and exotic than New Jersey. Have you ever been to the Jersey Shore? Because there are some pretty exotic creatures down there. A snooky is not the same thing as a koala. I don't care how big her hair gets. Snooky, that's such a funny name for a girl. Although she does remind me a little of that candy bar with all the nuts in it. You mean Snickers? No, Chunky. Here we go again. I wish I knew why I kept coming back here. Hey, Spot, am I still in New Jersey? Oh, you're back. Uh, yes, you are, and my name is Tuck. Yes, I am what? Chunky? Are you calling me Chunky? No, I was talking to Mr. Boots. Oh, is he here again? Seems to be popping in a lot lately. Well, you got any food around here? I'm starving to death. Pardon the pun. You're hungry. But wouldn't food go right through you? What? Now he wants us to feed him? Is that the ghost? Is he here again? Where? I don't see him. Well, keep him away from me. I don't want to get hit with any ectoplasm. Wait a minute. I just noticed your markings. You've got the mark of the double claw. The mark of the double claw? Is that good or bad? I'm not sure. I just know I was told to watch out for it. What's he saying? What's he saying? 
He says, I've got to market the double claw. And then he disappeared. Just like a male, they're never around when you need them. Ah, that voice, it's so grating. It reminds me of the time I saw Fran Drescher sing a Vita at the Beer and Broadway Dinner Theater. Horrible. Oh, he's back again. He says Honey's voice is grating. Really? He said that? <laughs> I think I could get to like this ghost of yours. Oh? Enough to give me a little kiss? No, not that much. Well, now that I've found you, I wonder what I'm supposed to do. Where are you going? I'm going in for a closer look. Hey! Don't leave me over here alone with her. Come on, Chippy, give me a kiss. No, Tuck, not until Valentine's Day. Oh, please, don't be so stingy. No, I've got to do my Pilates now. You never know when the big Hollywood agent might come knocking at your door. Almost never, I imagine. But you keep hoping. Hey, Tuck, if the ghost is still here, can you please ask him how Chelsea is... Oh, great, now that I think I'm some kind of phantom Facebook. Well, guess what? You can't pick and choose who to friend from the other side. It doesn't work like that. And he's gone again. I hope the mark of the double claw is a good thing and I don't suddenly turn into a werewolf or something. Because although it may seem romantic in the Twilight series, I do not want to become the next Tucker Lautner.